Yeah, I'll react to that, sure. Is he funny when Americans mispronounce British places? I am not going to mispronounce any because I am from New England, okay? We don't pronounce Worcester, Wor Worcester, Worcester, or Gloucestershire, or whatever. It's Glo- alright, I'm gonna nail this. Names. Hi guys, uh, original link to the video- happy holidays, by the way. I drank too much coffee. Original link to the video, top of the description, right below that link to the Discord. Click on it, send it right over there, I'd love to have you. Let's do it. I'm gonna ace this quiz. And look, it's pretty funny when Amer- Look, it's pretty funny when Americans mispronounce British place names, and it feels like a little bit of a shame to do this. But, in the spirit of the special relationship, here is a list of British place names that are very commonly mispronounced by Americans. Of course I'm gonna pause during this video so I can try it myself. Don't even give me one goddamn comment down there. I'm Siobhan Thompson, and this is Anglophenia, and today I have Mr. Rusty w I kept pronouncing it Anglophilia. Wouldn't that mean sexually attracted to- Sorry. Ward from the show Science Friction here with me as my American lab rat. It's good to be here. I just want to let you know I host a science web series, so I'm used to difficult words, so these might not be much of a challenge for me. I might be able to just, you know, rattle them hey, off, man. unlike a typical American. And also I can do, uh, if you'd like a British accent, while I say them, I can be like... I will be doing that as well. He's stealing my thunder. Hey, uh, Paul, John, hey Ringo, let's go to the octopus's garden. I need a little help from my friends in pronouncing these place names. Please don't do that. It's offensive. No. Okay, I'll just do it as me. Great. You know, I'll just yes. be, just, just, you know, just be you. real reels. Go ahead. Aberystwyth. It's Aberyst. Oh, you need to give me, give me time. Uh, I'll say Aberystwyth. Aberystwyth. Dang it, I even heard her say it and I tried to cheat and I got it wrong. Aberyst... Dith with. Just, you know, just be you. Real reels. Go ahead. Aberst with. It's Aberst with. Okay. That's what I said. No, it's Aberst with. It's different. Bicep. But I'm mute. Uh! Bichester. That's what I said. Bichester. No, Aberst with. It's different. Bicester. It's Bister. Bister. I just said how I would. Dang it! There's a there's an e. No, yeah, it's, it's silent, like the K in knife. Sirencester. Okay, I will go. I'll go Sirenster. Named after Cersei Lannister. No, it's definitely not named Sirenster. after Cersei Lannister. It's, it's a recent town. It's Sirencester. Derby. Derby. As in the Kentucky Derby. Derby. Dang it. As in Derbyshire, the county that Derby is okay. in. I'll give you that one. Dumf fries. Dumfries. Oh, no, that's what Americans eat. It's Dumfries. Eli. Ellie. Nope. No. Ugh. Ely. There's lots of eels there. They're in a swamp. It's called Ely. Why would you name a town that? I don't know. From. Can't you give me- um. From. As in Eric from. Froom. As in room with an F. Gloucester. See, Gloucester. We have a Glo we have a Gloucester. This is Gloucester. Gloucester. Mm. Like Dr. Foster went to Gloucester. I, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Hartlepool. Hartlepool. No, it's Hartlepool. There's no Y. I got it. Uh, I know this one. Two L's in Spanish is a Y. Yanelli. Linelli? Linelli. It's it's Welsh. Again, the double L's. I thought maybe it was like a, a Spanish definitely, influence definitely on not. Britain. Leicester. 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 Like a creepy dude, Leicester? Uh, yeah, sure. Leo Minster. 
Yeah, Leo Minster. Lempster. There are way too many letters. Yes, there's a lot of letters. In that. Lothborough. I'll go Lobra. That's pretty close. Lovebra. Lovebra. Thank you. Yes. I thought it was pretty close. Yeah. Marlboro. 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 Marlboro, where the... Where the cigarettes were made. It's definitely not where Marlboro cigarettes are Marlboro. I got that Mary LeBone. Marlebone. It's a little bit of a... It comes from a limerick. Marlebone. Dang it, I was close. Mary LeBone. Marlebone. Marlebone. Mouse hole. Mousel. Mousel? Mousel. I thought that was another limerick. Redding. Redding. That's correct, but a lot of people do think that it's reading, which is incorrect. It is incorrect. Although... Learn from you me. You should read. Re reading is important. Mm -hmm. Unless you're reading uh, British English, and then you'll just confuse yourself. Get to the next yourself. one. Right. Power. Pose. That's right. Power. Right. Dang it. All right. There we go. Put that on another one in the win column. Slow. Slaw? I don't know. Slow. I really thought I thought I was you doing an alternate pronunciation, so I thought I was. I'm failing. It's gonna hit on it. I saw you guys know why I'm pausing. Pa 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 pause pause. I don't wanna. I wanna try myself. I made it more wrong. Yes. Tottenham. 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 Like Tottenham Hotspurs. And we all know what that is. It's a football team. Go Packers. Fowey. Fowey. Foy. Islay. I Gwynedd. I, I would have gotten that. Gwynedd. Gwynedd. Rooslip. Rooslip. Ryslip. Pontypridd. 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 Durham. Dur Durham. Durham. S they go too fast, so I can't even frickin'. Pl um, Woking. Oh, that's right. Hey, hey, hey. Woking. Ho, ho. S subtle. Woking. Oh, that's right. Hey, hey, hey. Woking. Ho, ho. Whoa, who's on fire? Worcester. 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 It's Worcester. I grew up there. Worcestershire sauce. There was a town near me spelled this way, and we said Worcester. I have a town near me, too, but we pronounce it Worcester. Well, that whole town is wrong. My, the entire wrong. town? This is like a blow to my self-esteem. I'm sorry. So there you have it. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Guys, how many did I get right? Like... Two. And is there a British place name that you have no clue how to pronounce? Uh, Len with Lulith and Gilith and go go go. Let us know in the comments and maybe we'll cover it in another episode. Oh, unless it's Clan Fair Goggle Goch. Oh, Len Fair Pull Willy Gideon Gere Gore Shin Jirin Bari Virian Siri Gore Gore Gok. I don't know how to do that. That's it's a very long straight. Spelling. Everybody's favorite. You write color. You guys spell it C O L O U R. Uh, aluminum. You guys spell it aluminium. Like you guys spell it A L U. We spell it A L U M I N U M. Aluminum. You spell it L A L U M I N I U M. Favorite subject. No so people think that's like a pronunciation thing where it's a spelling now, thing. As I'm sure you all know, we Brits spell a lot of words oh, nah. very differently from you Yanks. Words such as plow, realize, fiber, and so on. But why is that? Well, let's go and find out. Maybe a lot of colonials didn't have dictionaries, so we kind of just guessed. I'm Siobhan Thompson, and this is Anglophenia. Now, up until about 250 years ago, nobody really cared about the proper spelling of things. They only cared about the spoken word. Even names were spelled more fluidly. Documents show that during his lifetime, Shakespeare himself spelt his own name in six different ways. Then, sometime around the late 18th century, British lexicographers such as Samuel Johnson and John Walker came along and said, this is our proper 
Englishman should spell. At the same time, Whoppa. across the pond, Americans were shaking off British rule. An American named Noah Webster, yes, that Webster, spoke up and said, in addition to having its own nation, America should have its own language. Webster wanted American English words to be spelled closer to the way that they sounded. The differences that we see today in British versus American English were first solidified in his dictionary. Words ending in R-E in Britain, such as center and saber, were changed so that they ended in E-R. The words catalog and analog lost the silent U-E that they had on the end. Most O-U-R endings lost the U, words such as armor, behavior, humor, and savor. This helped differentiate them from other O-U-R ending words Holler. that sounded less like er uh, and more like our, words such as flower, hour, and sour. And the I-S-E endings in words such as authorize, recognize, and symbolize were changed to an I-Z-E. For many- Z, I only realized that's what you guys call zero like a few months ago. I probably heard it a lot, I just didn't connect it. Of these ISE words, it wasn't so much a change as a return to its original form. The first usage of the word realize with an S was in 1755, whereas realize with a Z was seen back in 1611. Webster also wanted the word tongue to be spelled T-U-N-G, but like an unlicked stamp, that one didn't quite stick. Those yeah. are some general categories of spelling differences between Britain and America, but there are plenty of words that are spelt differently that don't fit into any of these groups. There's aluminium versus aluminum, program versus program, and even curb versus curb. Each so you guys call like a curb to a street or like curb your enthusiasm? C E R B. And the pronunciation of it, like. Her you guys say herb. Each one of these has its own story and very well may be the topic of a whole new episode of Anglophenia. So, if you're an American writing to a friend in the UK about how on your flight home the airplane had to maneuver down the runway because there was a problem with the tire, just make sure that you spelled everything correctly. Yeah, that's right, I said spelt. With a T. Mm-hmm. That almost seems like the opposite. Like, that seems like a shortened... Uh. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more episodes. For and let us know in the comments if I'm you're sub. interested in the origins and history of language. You gotta give them and sacrifice to the album. want to get to the root of? Yes, click on that one. Oh, very good. Yes, you'll like it. I promise. Go on. I can't. Oscar Wilde famously described Britain and the U.S. as two nations divided by... All right, I'll do this maybe another time. Love you guys. Let me know uh, how I did. I did great. See you guys next time. Bye.